What's going on YouTube? I am Germ here. Today we're going to be talking all about Paris. Again, we're getting closer and closer to the end of the sale. I know that this whole thing has really been dragged on for so long. Um, you know, we were talking about uh, during Paris, uh, the actual major, uh, how we're going to prepare and get ready for the sale. And now the sale's been going on for so long and blah, 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 blah. It's kind of dragging on, but Again, these are very, very important times. The end of the sale is your last chance to uh, kind of lock in on your positions going forward in the future, to make any changes, to make any predictions or investments or whatever you want to do. Um, because once the sale is gone, obviously it's going to be gone. It's never coming back. You're not going to have these opportunities uh, ever again. And that's not to try and get you to FOMO or anything like that. It's just to um, you know understand the reality of the situation. Don't do anything crazy. Don't do anything stupid. But do what you think is best in this moment and, and do it before it's too late. But there are a couple of very, very good signs and some good news overall for Paris that I did want to talk about in this video, and that's what we're going to be going over today. But first, I just want to mention that I am getting very, very significantly into cash trading. I have my Twitter linked in the description below. That is the best way to reach out to me if you are interested in trading any of your CSGO items, skins, whatever, anything and everything. If you're looking to trade them into cold, hard cash, crypto, whatever you want to do, I can probably make it happen. Uh, DMing me on Twitter. I've been talking to tons of people over the past couple of weeks. It's really starting to pick up. It's going very, very well. You know, we've had a, a couple very, very um, happy and satisfied people overall. It seems like, you know, I, I can really help you guys get to cash safely, effectively, efficiently. Um, yeah, so it, it's a good deal for everybody. And obviously, help support me and my channel and my content. Like I said, I, I'm just really excited. I've been talking to a ton of people. Just looking at so many different items, so many different things. It's been really cool and fun, uh, and I want to do more. We have plenty of funds ready. We can make offers on pretty much any item out there. Um, so, yeah, check me out on Twitter. Also, just follow me for general CS stuff, but whatever. Uh, with that being said, let's get into this. So, first piece of news is I hadn't really looked at Paris today, but so far, prices are down a little bit. Right now, I'm recording this on August 23rd, and um, you know, if you look at eSport Fire here, we can see that the Paris graph, uh, the past couple days has gone down. You know, from August 20th to August 23rd, prices are down. So even though we're towards the end of the sale and people, you know, I think here, people were kind of expecting the, the sale to end, so prices were running up because everyone's doing their last minute shopping, last minute buying, but now we don't really know when the sale is going to end, so some of that's kind of cooling off. So prices have actually retreated a little bit, which um, obviously in the long run i don't want prices to go down i don't want prices to be uh you know shrinking or anything like that i want things to go up i want to be able to make some profit on this but while the sale's still going on, I still have an opportunity to buy. Price is going down and things getting cheaper. Um, I think it's great. You know, Mongols is back under a dollar. I think that's awesome. Uh, Heroic is that back down under three dollars. I think that's a great price. Um, you know, I want to click through some of these other ones real quick. Uh, some interesting stuff. Uh, we have Fluxo under five dollars. That seems really really good. Uh, Fanatic at five forty, kind of pricey, but still seems kind of decent. Fluxo being under five dollars, I think, is very, very attractive. Uh, and yeah, we have Apex and stuff under thirteen dollars. I know Mouse is like around seventeen dollars before. So uh, if you've bought anything over the past couple of days, uh, maybe you can, you know, lower your cost basis on some stuff uh, and things like that. I know I'm definitely going to be buying today. I'm definitely going to be buying over the course of the next week um, and really trying to end this pair of sales strong. But uh, another very, very cool thing that I uh, found out is this. This is a list of all, I believe, nineteen majors that have happened in CS that have had stickers and, and, and sticker sales and all that kind of stuff um, that have had stickers in the game, sticker sets, I don't know why I couldn't think of the word, um, ranked from top to bottom in terms of what they think is the coolest, the best, the most attractive, uh, the best sets of stickers. This is ranked by the CSGO Market Forum uh, Discord community. So, you know, this is like investor-minded people ranking all the sticker sets. Uh, and I just want to throw this up on the screen because if you guys were interested and curious about our rankings, this is obviously 189 people, their thoughts and opinions, but it's 189 people people who are, you know, more active in the investing community than, than the average uh, CSGO player or something like that, obviously. But if you want to get an idea of where these things are ranked, also you guys could use this list to maybe find things that you think are overrated or underrated and maybe purchase some stuff for the medium or long term to try to make some money or whatever. But what is interesting and good here for Paris is that people have Paris as the fifth best sticker collection of all time so far in CSGO. I think that's very, very cool. And I think that is a great sign overall and something that you need to to not overlook because again there's so many people who not so much anymore but early on in the early days of the pair sale so many people saying oh this is going to be rmr 2.0 or blah 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 this is over invested overrated yada 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 but when you look at the numbers okay this come saying this is rmr 2.0 makes absolutely no sense rmr had more sales it had higher supply and look at where rmr is on these rankings this has the 18th best set of all time is voted on by these people rmr is an ugly set that people didn't like and it was over invested. You know, it had um, obviously stuff like the stimulus checks and COVID and all that different stuff going on. 
Paris has nothing to do with that. Paris is one of the best sets of all time. RMR was one of the worst sets of all time. Yes, Paris has a lot of supply and has a lot of people investing, but it's also highly, highly sought after. What I think is interesting here as well is that Paris might even be a little bit underrated because, again, when I've broken these things down and looked at the amount of unique stickers and how the stickers look and uh, just how the sets look overall, I think Paris is better than Antwerp. So the fact that Paris is below Antwerp here has me thinking that people might even be sleeping on it a little bit, and that makes me more excited about Paris. Um, but yeah, here's some of these rankings. You guys want to check them out or whatever. But again, Paris is one of the best sets of all time. It is a very, very good set. Um, it has nothing to do with the recent kind of flops of Rio and Armar, and it is obviously very, very close in line with the recent huge successes of Stockholm and Antwerp. Now, will it be as major successes? Will the gains be as crazy as Stockholm and Antwerp? probably not maybe who knows but another piece of good news that i do think plays in line with all of this very very well is again stockholm and antwerp were amazing successes without a huge new release coming in the middle of them helping them to explode um now yes obviously stockholm and antwerp have benefited from the cs2 hype of its potential release and the CS2 beta dropping and all that. And, you know, you can look at any of those stickers and you can see, um, you know, obviously we can even go to eSport Fire and kind of see uh, what uh, the CS2 beta did for these. You know, they're kind of chugging along, chugging along. And then we get this CS2 hype era where things just absolutely explode. This is Rio. Um, but, you know, here's Antwerp. Obviously, all the graphs are going to look pretty similar where it just kind of explodes in price on the CS2 hype. But then it's died back down. It's crashed back down to just a little bit above where it was. We've really continued on this natural um, overall increase in progression over time we had this big explosion come back down. So we're not really riding that CS2 hype anymore. The prices are more in line with where they probably would have been or should have been anyway. Um, but now, obviously, we have the real CS2 coming. That is going to be great for Paris. And again, Stockholm and Antwerp, yes, they saw big gains and big successes, but that's without this big thing. Um, and another interesting thing is that CS has seen a big influx of players over time. The, the player base has naturally continued and continued and continued, despite the fact that CSGO is obviously what, 10, 11 years old, something like that. And it's had uh, also this big new competitor in Valorant that should have and, and definitely was stealing some players away. And despite that, still gaining traction over time. So I think the, the recent success of CSGO and the, the overall um, gaining of the player base in you know, 2020, 2021, 2022, yes, pandemic fueled for sure. Um, but also the fact that it was able to do that while um, a new huge competitor is bursting onto the scene, I think is a great fact of, of the health of the CS market, um, which shows that it should hopefully continue to grow over time, especially if CS2 is a, a great new game. But again, we've been playing an 11 or 12 year old game has been competing with Valorant. That's a brand new game. We're finally going to be getting that brand new CS2. And I think something that people are maybe even underrating is again, yes, CS2 is going to be this huge boom, but also stealing players back from Valorant is going to be a very, very big thing. And also having a modern competitor to Valorant is going to be a big thing. We've seen the CS player base growing with a game that's outdated, uh, with a game that's uh, maybe boring and, and kind of the, the same old, same old to a lot of people. We're going to be getting something fresh, new and exciting, but also up to date and modernized. And that is going to be I really think, and obviously many people out there think, as the fact that we saw this huge run-up with the CS2 hype, a big boom to CS. Now, I think when CS comes out, yeah, we're going to see this big explosion, and obviously it's going to come back down. You know, the the all the new players coming in, they're not all going to stick around, but it will bring some people in, and it will continue this growth of the player base over time, which we're already seeing with CS Go, um, which is going to be great for Paris. This is going to be good. Now, obviously, it's going to be great for Antwerp and Stockholm as well, and if you're an Antwerp or Stockholm investor, this is not a bad thing at all, but there are some very, very good keys for Paris going on right now. Prices are down. Paris is an amazing set. And we have CS2 right around the corner, which is just a huge X factor that I really do think is going to, uh, you know, play into these gains and the overall potential of, uh, potential of you making money a lot. So yes, is it probably overinvested? Yes. Is it maybe a little bit overrated, overhyped? Maybe, but it's also just a very, very good set. But there's also so many factors out there um, that should have you excited about Paris as an investment. Definitely have me excited about Paris as an investment. Uh, I can't wait. Hopefully this age is well. Hopefully Hopefully Paris goes well for me and everyone else. We'll have to wait and see. Who knows? But pretty much it was this video today, guys. Hopefully I catch you in the next one. Until then, peace.